Decision making is the key for the success of any project. As a project manager, you will have to take many many decisions at the right time throughout the entire project. For PMP exam perspective, this is a very good concept that can be tested in different forms of questions. In this video, I'll help you understand these concepts of how to make decisions from the PMBOK Guide 6th edition. Let's get started. So, what are the occasions you would make decisions? You might make decisions to decide the features of your project or the requirements, the look and feel of the product or the schedule, how long should the product go on, project go on, when should the product hit the market or the product features, the budget, architecture, design, location, where will people sit and work on the project, travel, budget, tools, etc. So a lot of things that need to be decided on the project. Now, how do you come to a consensus because there are different stakeholders and now you have to get people together for this you would get the people together in a meeting room and then decide now based on what are the decisions taken that's important let's try to see that let's say you need to decide on the design of the project now you've got all the subject matter experts and the, the sponsor and everybody else on the project to decide what is the design to be taken in Let's see, say you have 10 stakeholders. Now among these 10 stakeholders, you need to take a decision on what design are you going to say? Are you going to do the approach A or approach B? And now after a discussion, let's say all 10 people agree with your approach. Okay, when all 10 people agree with the approach, it is called as unanimity. Unanimously, everybody has agreed on this approach. There's no problem, right? So unanimity is the name of this particular decision making thing next let's say sometimes there are some differences say only eight people agree with your approach and two are not agreeing but still eight is more than two right so the majority of the people are agreeing with it, this approach so you might still go and implement it this is called majority it will not be hundred percent but it is more than half right so that's a majority and sometimes let's say four people agree three disagree and they are not sure what to, what to do with this approach right that case is called as plurality usually this happens when you have like two or three different choices to be made that time there is a split and you go with the larger group among the all people and then let's say it is just one person who's going to decide let's say your sponsor is going to say this what has to be done or customers we need only this technology to be used okay at that time it becomes an autocratic decision okay lastly there's another technique called as multi-criteria decision analysis where you have a lot of parameters let's say parameter a b c and it has to meet another criteria so one two three in such situations this type of decision making is called as multi-criteria decision analysis so these are the different ways of making decisions on your projects. Please watch the video a couple of times, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon, share the video with your friends. This is Aram Faraz. Have a nice time. Bye-bye. Wish you success for the PMP examination.